Ah, right, yo, you know what it is. We got the one and only T57. Whoosh, whoosh. What's going on, my peoples, man? What are you telling me? How you, how you finding it today? Bro, I'm steady, man. Can't lie. Little journey here. You know the vibes, but I can't complain. Same mm. old, same old. Let's start off easy, like. Mm. How did you get that name T57? <laughs> <laughs> I will start off there. Boom. Cool. People call me 25, but like, niggas that know me. They call me 25, innit? But I started off as Ace. And then, cool. I can't lie to you, I'm a hard worker. So I started off with a thing like, niggas would be shouting at me, saying, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 12 o'clock, niggas shout at me, bro, what are you doing? I'm either active, I'm doing something. You get what I'm trying to say to you, niggas? Like, bro, don't you sleep, niggas will call them on in the morning. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm picking up the phone, they say, my nigga, what time do you sleep? I'm like, bro, you know me, 25 hours of the day. <laughs> And then you know what it is cool. Then boom, it didn't start off as 2,000 actually. It started off as 25,8 actually. But then I all had some situation with some next brand and they were just talking a lot. So we just sorted it out, innit? We just came to a conclusion. I said, let me change man's name rather than take the whole, you know what I'm trying to say to you, long, long way about. I just started music. This is literally like, I think I dropped one video. And then I dropped the next video, which was Bando Habits. And I think literally the day after Bando Habits dropped, she shouted at me like, because I was doing well. It, like for my second tune, it was popping off, even from before the traction was decent. You know what I'm trying to say to you? So I've dropped it now, but long story short, the person, you know what, let me not even talk on that, because the person that done this to me was my people, and he still is my people. Long story short, one of my people did something a bit incorrect with what was going on there and took something from their thing. And you get what I'm trying to say to you? So just a bit of it. Mix up, you get me? So they obviously shout at me saying, you need to change your name, take down all your music, da 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 da, da. I'm obviously trying to go back and forth. Uh, me being new to the music as well, I didn't really know how to go about it. Mm. So I was just shouting people that I knew at the time saying, yo, what do you think I should do? What do you think I should do? Obviously people didn't really have much advice to man because same way I'm new, everyone around man was new, you feel me? Mm. So <clears throat> these times here, she's basically ended up started taking one, two of my things down. I'm, I'm coming into my social, I'm seeing one, two things are getting taken down. Duh, 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 duh. So then I just have, pfft, I need to change my name before everything man's done before sort of goes to waste and she takes down the videos and I can't get them put back up now. So man's thought, cool, it's 25, eight. What's the best thing that man can change it to that I still feel like relates to man's life? And you get me, I have to take out the 25, eight. So then my name is two, five. That's what people call me. So I had to keep the two, five in there. It couldn't change that, that those numbers couldn't change. But the seven serving is what became instead of the eight. You know what I'm trying to say to you? So I just added seven serving. And still, you understand, still more days, more hours, everything like that. The concept's still the same. A man's, I'm not going to say man's serving, but you, you know the vibes. You know what I'm trying to say to you? Literally, literally, literally. So yeah, man, that's how the name 257 Serving came about. My so boy. how do you get into music, though? Bro, if you want me to be so real, man's always been into music, my guy. Like, I'm a... I'm a big listener of music, if you want me to be real, like, man listen to a lot of music, everything I do, whether man's in my car, I'm driving, whether man's in the shower, just chilling in the car, I've got a very short attention span, so music for me, it keeps it changing, it keeps it rolling, like, I don't have to concentrate on the same thing, you feel me? So for man from young, music's just been a cut through, like, a sort of time, time filler, but then there was a certain point where man just started playing about, just, I would listen to a beat that I like, rap over it. And people around me were just showing me a code. But for a long time, I didn't take that corner serious. You get what I'm trying to say to you? Mm. But I was just, at the same time, I was still perfecting my craft. So I think I dropped my first song when I was in year 10. Live O, it's called Trap Money. I think it sounds like that. I was in year 10, I was still in high school these times. Yeah. And then that got like 20k on SoundCloud. So when I, <laughs> do you get what I'm saying, bro? So man's dropped my first tune on SoundCloud now. And then, it's done Tony K but in high school, bro. Imagine man's in high school, man's gas like even people around and everyone's trapped money. You know what I'm trying to say to rapping the tune. Then from there, RIP to my older brother Hadj, man. He was one of my peoples that was uh, got me into this music thing as well, and that he had literally just come home from jail. He invested in a music studio. Obviously trying to do the right thing now, you get what I'm trying to say. Um boom. What's going to happen? So cool, I've come to him after Trap Money's dropped. This is before, so man sort of had recorded a song, but I was just at some back road studio, that Trap Money song, that was nothing serious. Then the first time I hit a proper booth now was when I went to Hadji's booth. 
because obviously he's had trap money, he's sort of seen a man. You know, I'm trying to say it to come true, whatever. So now a man's gone shot a next tune. What did I call it again? I can't even remember. TMG, I called it. And at these times here, I was calling myself Ace because remember, I, I told you people called my Ace from back in the day, so I was calling myself Young Ace these times here. So I, I dropped a song called TMG, no video, just a audio on YouTube of just a picture, innit? Mm -hmm. I think mean, I ended up doing like three, four K, whatever now. From there, man never dropped no music at the time. That was when I was still, that was all high school times. Mm -hmm. And then man just stopped, like, call you all of that, man. Man was still what I does, innit? Like, you get on patterning up, innit? Life got realer, you know what I'm trying to say to you? And then, um, so when I was like 18, cool, I was doing whatever one of my guys from East, one of my niggas from Hackney now. And we was outside, we wasn't even in London, we was clear out, just doing our thing, yeah. But he's running it up, running it up, we're both running it up, same way, both running it up, same way. But him and, my, him and another guy from East, um, they, was doing, they was doing music at the time. They were actually dropping music and they was working, you know, J-Dot, the, the videographer. Yeah, yeah. So they were actually doing that at a decent level. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? Mm -hmm. So man seeing this and at the same time, me and my nigga are going away from that place, going to where we're going, writing music together. But he's going to the studio recording videos and man's just leaving it there. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just writing and leaving it there. And I'm going, I'm even coming to my man's videos, going to the studio session. I thought, nah, man, if my nigga can do this, surely man can do this for like... Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to say to you? So literally, I went to my guy's video and that same day, I booked a video. So I went home, I said, you know what, nah. I was going to book a video. So that same night, I went and booked a video with one of my guys. Okay, at the time, it wasn't my guy, I didn't even know him, but now it's all like, obviously, business relationship. You know? I can say he's my guy, like I like him, you know what I'm saying? So there was a guy called Ghost. I hit him up, obviously. I was just like, yo, bro, um, get me. Like, man got a video that I'm trying to shoot. I seen your thing. When could we book him for? So, so man shot that video now and I dropped it. But I tried to send it to Mixtape Man and Miss Jam Daily. And they haven't accepted it. So I'm thinking, what? But they obviously, I didn't know at the time, this is my first video that I ever shot. So I didn't know at the time that there's a standard quality, there's a quality of, that they need. So everything needs to be correct. The, the, video, the video, the audio, the audio everything, you understand? Right, yeah, everything, because yeah, yeah. it's the top quality, it's, a, it's the top platform, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So everything needs to be proper. So I didn't know that at the time with mixtape, GRM, all of these platforms, that like, it needed to be a certain quality. So I just went and shot a calm video, thought it was going to go everywhere. Obviously, I thought, bro, when I shoot the video, I'm thinking I'm blown. This is the video. <laughs> <laughs> like, you thought you made it out when you it. I thought, I'm gone. I, I said, I'm gone, my boy. So I'm shot the video, but to my shock, obviously, it's getting rejected from all of these platforms. The one person that accepted the video though was Pac-Man, you see Pac-Man TV. So obviously so I was rapping with Pac-Man, the, the, the Pac-Man TV, and then I ended up dropping on Pac-Man. Because I only ended up doing like 6K, 7K, whatever. Man didn't really have no promo change and all of that. Man just shot it, didn't know about promo and all of that. Da, 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 da. So then yeah fam, that's, that's more time the point where I fully started doing music. That's the point where I could say, yo bro, like, I took music seriously. From that day, I shot um, Toxic Trait. The video is called Toxic Traits on Press Plate Store. Um, from that day there, that's the day I said, no, nah, you know what? Man, man can do this. Man can fully do this. And I don't need no one babying me or pushing my hand or holding my hand. Man can do this mm. still. You know what I'm saying? That's the day where I fully took me to serious still. Still in that store. Mm. So where did you grow up, though? Bro, I grew up mainly in Northwest London, Moorstone, man. Literally, that was my main upbringing. Um, bro, my whole my younger life, literally, was. I lived in North and Northwest London, so when I was very, very, very young, I grew up in Barnet sides, like more, uh, if you ever heard of Whetstone. When I was very yeah, young, no. come up. These times here, I was living with my pops, my pops. Aye, let me, let me call you back, bro. Man's in an interview. Huh? I'm in an interview. Let me call you back. Huh? Interview, interview. Let me call you back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah. My bad, bro. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so where did you grow up? Oh yeah, so man grew up mainly in Northwest London, like obviously from my older, do you understand where I, where I was learning things? But from when I was young, I was living in Barnet, and then I moved to Kingsbury, if you know what Kingsbury is. Yeah, but, Northwest. Yeah, yeah, Northwest, but that was when I was very young. This is primary school time, this is all, but my pops was in the army. So do you understand what I'm trying to say? So when I was living in Barnet, we was living on like a, the army little estates. Do you understand mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say to you, where they just put the housing, da 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 da. But that's ended up, a whole myth because man's pops ended up cutting um, and then they ended up demolishing like 70% of the estate I was living on anyway. So everyone got evicted in it essentially. So 
that's when I moved to Harrow now. That's when I moved to Wollstone from the point I was like six, seven years old. Um, I moved in with my auntie because my mum and her went to university together. So it's one of them ones there where obviously they ended up working together at the same hospital as well in Harrow uh, Norfolk Park Hospital. So obviously, I think they've ended up just nice shifts to wrap in, but they've known each other for time. So these are locked in type shit. So I think they just clocked because my auntie has a daughter as well. So they ended up clocking. We both work the night shifts. We both have kids. It makes sense to balance like, it. Like, to together. balance it, you understand? Mm. So on the nights you're working, night shift, man will be home with the youths. On the night, you understand? Try and make it as much as there's, a, there's someone home, an adult home, as much as possible, because that was a problem they were both having. Mm. They were both having night shifts and there was no one home to take care of the kids, you know what I'm saying? So that's when I ended up moving to Harrow. That's when I ended up moving to Woolstone. And yeah, bro, like, um, till I was probably about... 14, 15, 40, yeah, that region. I was mainly living in Harrow, just Wallstone, just moving about though. So I was even, I lived in Kenton, I lived in Wallstone. Uh, partially, I lived in Harrow on the Hill a little bit. So, but then when I was at like, 15, obviously things started switching up. So I've lived from the point I was 15, I lived in that, like, <laughs> like four different places. Bro. But my mum obviously, it was one of those ones there where you know how it goes, bro. Like my mum started trying to, obviously the whole time I was living with my auntie basically, and one of my uncles moved to Harrow. In that period as well so when i told you i lived in kenton i was living with my uncle when i was living in wilson i was living with my auntie you know, you know what i'm saying so i was literally just wherever was best for my mom to stay at the time we'll stay at because obviously certain times you'll be staying with someone at their crib you know what i'm saying after a while you feel like crowded you know what i'm saying so we might go to my uncle's but my uncle's my mom's brother so it was a complete you understand what i'm trying to say oh, to you so blood, blood they're, they're blood related yeah. brother you understand what i'm trying to say to you so it was always cushy in it so from there my mom when i was at 15 Around that region, my mum said she wanted to venture out type shit. Outside of London type Yeah, but oh, no, but man. it was like, not, not too far, it was itchy. Kind of like Quake, like, I'm guessing like Watford or something. Nah, bro, cool. So man was a bit in Essex. I lived for, oh. in Essex for like, uh, probably like, I would say just, I'd say a year, maybe something like that. Mm. Somewhere in that region. Um, man lived in East. I lived in East London. Um, I lived... Uh, I'm trying to think of all the locations I lived in now. Man lived in, man lived in Kent for a bit. Like, bro, man just moved about bare, bro. Like, but it was mainly like I would say, but Kent wasn't really long. Like, that was like my one of my families was up there. My mum just mm-hmm. wasn't managing, so she just sent man up there for like a rough region, innit? But I would say from 15 to 17, that was a lot of moving about. Like 14, 15, 16, 14, 15, 16, 17, I was moving about, but. Because my auntie always lived in the ends, I always had that, that base. That base. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? So wherever I was at, bro, whether I'm, I would go save my uncle, whether I would go save my auntie, I would always end up back in the ends because my auntie would always let man come home regardless. And you get what I'm saying? Man, man grew up in the ends, so all my bridges were there. You get what I'm saying? And you're still trying to keep up with everything that's going on in the ends anyway. Do you get what I'm trying so to say to you? So question on that, like, how yeah. was it, like, especially from those age groups, that's mm. when you're doing GCSEs, mm. going to college. Like, how was that? How did that affect your education? No, nah, it did affect man's like education. All these different places. Cool, in the sense of, bro, you know where it was? I was just so focused in the ends, bro, regardless. That's what my issue was, bro. So, man would sort of be in a place and not be there. You get what I'm trying to say to you? Or when I was there, I was looking from it from the from the perspective I was looking at from the end, so I'll be in the spot like in Kent. Oh, I'm not looking man. at it like man's here on a fresh spot, I'm looking like rah. That's someone I could <laughs> yo, you oh, understand man. let me get you understand what I'm trying to say to you all oh, sack. Like, if I'm not thinking like that, man's not at Collie, man's not at education, man's back in the ends. Do you understand with the man them like niggas are finishing school at three, four or Collie or whatever, a man's getting to the ends just before then and linking the man then, but I wouldn't have done it. Like, I would have been just doing my own thing and made my way to the ends. You get what I'm trying to say to you? Because it was, it was never quay. I, I never really lived too quay. It was always like, if man was in East, it was like, I was in East so I could take the train down. Or if man was in Essex, I was like the borderline. It was always like the borderlines. You get what I'm trying to say to you? So it was always a thing where man could always just make my way down, make my journey down. So it was never really a headache, but that was basically me from like 14 to like 15, 16, 17. Then I moved back to the ends fully um i just sort of like had enough of everything like not being in the end <laughs> literally i just had enough bro like i had enough of just coming back to that like, you get me i'm coming to the ends three days a week 
four days a week, I'm missing out three days a week, but I'm hearing this has happened, duh, 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 duh. like, I just feel like I'm missing out too much, so, cool, actually, I'm lying, boom, my mum actually ended up moving when I was 16, she moved, car man's, bro, man's heritage is African, isn't it? So my mum, what part of Africa? Zimbabwe, South Africa, that region, isn't it? So my mum moved back to South Africa, isn't it? So she's now living in Joburg when I was 16, this is exactly when I was 16, so that's when I've now decided to move back to the end, because I said, what? My mum's not even here no more, I'm not going with her. Where else am I going to go? So now my mum's going to stay back on my auntie in the ends. You know what I'm trying to say to you? So I probably spent like three years, I would say, yeah, like three years just in and out the ends. Like I'll come to the ends three, four days a week. If not, man will be in East, I'll be in Essex, I'll be in Kent. Like, man was just moving about from family to family car. Man's home situation was kind of. You know what I'm trying to say to you? So my mum would always just try, in my mum's head, she was trying to give man a better situation, obviously, by put me in different places, but you understand well, you what I'm trying to say to you. the stability that yeah. you needed. Do you get what I'm trying to say to you? And the only stability I knew was where I was from. You understand? The only place where I could level and say, yo, I know where I'm at, this is where I'm at. You understand what I'm trying to say to you? It was really and truly the end. And plus, wherever I was going, because I wasn't staying with my mum a lot of the time, I never really felt like I was home anyway. I didn't know no one there. I wasn't really, you understand? People, bro, we like 16, fifty. that like, everyone's growing up, everyone's got their bedrooms, everyone's got their friendship groups. Like, everyone knows where they belong. It's not the age where people are finding stuff out. Like everyone knows where they belong. You understand what I'm trying to say to you? So it's like man knew I belonged and I knew I was in a place that wasn't for man. You understand what I'm trying to say to you? So I felt more to that I was living with people that wasn't my own mum, my own dad, whatever. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? So it's like I always had that feeling of man's not home anyway. Why would I get comfortable here? You got what I'm trying to say to you? That that was the type of vibe I had when I was living anywhere that wasn't in the ends, but you get what I'm trying to say to you, somehow, somewhere, I was just worming my way back to the ends, literally, my bro. So from there, I was just back from like 16, 17 miles back in the ends type vibes, still. Mm, I feel that stuff. Literally, feel that, my bro. Man. But yeah, man, because you know what, I do feel like that with the ends, man, like you, you got to love it sometimes, isn't it? But at the same time, you got to expand out outside of the ends. No, That's of when course. you learn. You know when you get older, man, you Bro, you know what it is? If you talk to anyone from the ends, bro, that was really living in the ends, yeah. No one in the ends has really lived in the ends their whole life. Anyone that was like in the ends doing whatever bullshit, da, 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 da. but everyone ended up living in bare different places because you know how Niggas it goes, get bro. Moved, it? bro so everyone gets me, bro. Everyone ends up back in the ends regardless because you know what I'm saying. You get to that point where, cause bro, I had a lot of people that was living in that was living in care, da, 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 so their care would move them out to places like bro. I had people that were going out to like Ramsgate, <laughs> people go. Bro, I had my, some of my brethren going out to. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say to you, just. Mm. Everyone was just moving everywhere, bro. Like, do you get me? At these times, I didn't even know certain people. So, do you get what I'm trying to say to you? So, everyone's just, you get me? So, everyone's in the end at different points. Some people know some people. Duh, 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 duh. But by the time it was like 17, 18, it was like, do you get me? Man's back in the ends. Everyone's, you know what I'm trying to say to you? But yeah, man, there was a stage in life where everybody at some point was just moving somewhere. Like, someone's care homes moved them here. Yeah, bro, she's living in. Watford, bro, she's living in mm. flipping Milton Keynes, someone's living in Bradford, like, bro. Mm. But then it gets to a point where I feel like as we get older, obviously, first things first, like, me personally, bro, I obviously never went through the care system. Man had um, my mum. So my mum's like, my mum was one of those people, she would rather go to family before she went to the system. Oh, Do you understand? Yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you, bro? Even if it was down and out, like it was homeless, my mum would go and my mum would beg my uncle to go and stay at their yard before she went and begged the government to give her something, do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? So, for man, it was like, when I moved about, it was more just family, because I had a lot of family everywhere, but I had some bridges I was moving about because there wasn't care, duh, 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 duh. but the good thing about them type of things is, as everyone gets older, for example, the people that move out because of family, duh, 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 as you get older, you get to make your own choices more, duh, 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 you know what's going on with people that's in care and stuff, it's like, bro, you get to start, you get options, like, you see, as you've been in care and duh, 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 for a couple of years, when you start getting to seventy, you start getting like, options. They start, mm. they start rapping to you. They say, "What you would, where would you prefer to live?" So that's mm. when, and bro, somehow, some way, bro, basically, everyone just ends up back, back where they started, bro. Somehow, some way, bro. Don't ask me how. I'm not trying to philosophize this shit, but somehow, some way, bro. At some point, everybody was moving about, and then somehow, some way, bro, everyone just ended up back in the ends. You know, them ones, them, bro. Literally, fam. Yeah, literally, literally, but, my bro. Listening to your music, you seem like a person who's like money motivated. So like, how comes you like, how comes you that way? Cause bro, man never really had much, bro. Like to say, man went hungry and that, bro. Man never went hungry. My mum's 
Bro, I don't know if you know about African families, bro. But no, my you, mom they always bro. make sure you eat. Bro, you like, eat, bro, bro. I, when I see these African youths talking about man, we're hungry, bro, bro, I don't even believe it, bro, because African households, that are, bro, your, most African parents will go hungry before. No, you know, I'm not even going to say African, bro. Most just, most natural parents, bro, like, do you get what I'm trying to say to you, bro? Like, they'll go hungry before they their youth goes hungry. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, man, bro, it was like, it was never really the hunger or nothing, like, I would wake up and something. For man, it was, bro, it was just... With the extras like for man like when I was going to school I never had, had the kickers I never had all the kickers I never had mm. nothing like bro my mom, I would go ask my mum for example a simple thing like Nike blazers and you know there was a time where bands were popping like blazers a couple of things were popping bro and I never had none of those but like, I asked for bands my mum went to next and caught me some caught me someone that said next on them instead of vans like um, <laughs> man asked for dunks bro was in sports direct looking at some no name brand Nike it just says it just has a swoosh on it bro mm. And yeah, man, fucking yeah, man, really and truly, bro. That was that was my motivation. It was like, and I knew my mum was struggling. Like, it wasn't a thing where my mum was eating. I was waking up eating. I was waking up good because we're thriving. I knew it's because my mum was struggling. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? So for man, it was like, I saw that from early in it. My pops cut from early, so my mum was just been struggling from early, and they had a whole situation where they didn't. The divorce didn't go through properly, innit? It didn't go through straight. So when my mum did try and ask for help from the government, they were saying no because they're still married technically. Do you understand what I'm saying? So man grew up no help from the government. My mum was always on her ones type. So I actually saw her struggling. Like, yeah. All of these people that got benefits of the deal, what I should have been getting at the time, which would have actually probably made us a bit more stable, we wasn't getting none of it. Do you understand? And I used to actually see it because bro, my mum. Bro, my mum never had... Bro, every single time I hear my mum talk, bro, nine times I tell me you sound about overdraft. <laughs> do, you, do you get what I'm trying to say to you? Borrow money, credit cards, max. So I knew from young that, listen, we ain't got it. Like, I'm not even living in my own house. Like, we're living in my auntie's house. This is a man's crib. Like, I, I clocked my situation from young. I was living with my auntie from, like, six. So I clocked my situation from young. None of this is mine. Do you understand? I'm living in my auntie's crib. So it's like, for me, bro, I ended up getting to the point where from early, man was very hungry. I was a very curious guy, bro. When I was younger, bro, wherever I was living, where I was living in North, where I was living in Northwest, bro, I was very curious street, bro. I'd always be outside on my pedal bike or wherever I was on, bro. Whether I'd, at the time, if I had Heelys, I was out on my Heelys. If I had a pedal bike, I was on my pedal bike. Whatever mode of transport man had, I was outside with it. Like, I was a eat, my mum would have to come look for man wherever I was, like, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, fuck off times. And I would just be pulling up on, but I'd be pulling up on all the youths doing whatever the, the fuck they're doing. Pull up on them. Yo, you, you look. What are you not doing? Mm-mm. Obviously, man, they eat, so they're saying, no, it's, you know I'm trying to say to you? I think, you look a smoking, innit? <laughs> so you look a smoking, innit? They'll say, no, no, you get what I'm trying to say to you? Like, you know, I'll be like, nah, 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 nah. I'll just pedal off, bro, like, but they will see man six times, like, there'll be interactions like that, like, throughout the day, man, we just pedal off, come back, say some dumbness, like, you know what I'm saying? So I was always a very curious suit, so I understood things very early, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was always, if I didn't understand something, I was like, you, I would go out of my way to try and find out about it. Mm-mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say to you, so? Yeah, bro, that was me still. So for man with money, bro, money curious. That like, I was curious about for money from early. So, I and I saw people get money. It wasn't like I grew up in a place where niggas wasn't, bro. Niggas where I was, where I grew up in basically every area, I, I was seeing niggas get money. People was outside get money. So I'm like, it's not a thing where man can't be out here. And you know what I'm saying. So for me, I knew what route sort of, and what type of money I wanted from very early. Do you know what I'm saying? It wasn't a thing where, like, I got influenced or, like, someone... Nah, bro, I can't lie. Man was very clued up, and I knew at every point, like, what I'm getting into, what I want to do. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So, for man, my money curiosity curiosity came from a very early age because I'm just a curious guy. When I don't understand things, even now, bro, if I don't understand something, I don't really get something. It it irks me. Like, I'll go out my way to research it or find out about it because... I like to be, bro, I like, I like to know things, bro. Knowledge is key, bro. Like, you can't be out here just talking out your mouth and pff, there's no value in what's coming out your mouth, no, my boy. You know what I'm saying, fam? But you, like, obviously, I, w- I wanted to ask you di- this and obviously it might be a bit personal to you. Yeah, obviously. yeah, bro, bro. Oh. But, bro, uh, um, I was going to say, like, how was it, like, being in a household with only one parent? Bro, you and, see? And, 
can I further dive in into that? Yeah, Why yeah. your dad cut? Is there a thing where he said, you know, I, I don't even want to do this no more? Bro, my dad cut because he started another family, bro. That's oh. <laughs> And the worst thing is, bro, man was at right, cool, bro. I, I don't even mind, like, divulging into this stuff, because this is stuff that I've, I've dealt with, isn't it, bro? Bro, my dad would, my dad is, he was promiscuous, my guy. Yeah, I'm trying to say it to you. He's a good-looking guy, bro, so he was, he, he was out right here, bro. So, my dad was in the army as well, wasn't it? So, uh, you yeah, understand, yeah, the, bro? That was, the play, the bro, everything he was going, like, it was a whole, just a, a mixture of, you know what I'm trying to say it to you. So, for a man growing up with one parent, but it was tough, bro, like, seeing my mum struggle, um, duh, 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 duh. all of that, bro, was, it was mad tough, but at the same time, bro, it thickened my skin, bro. Like, man rose up, man had to rise up, and you know what? To say man of the house, bro, like, I can't say I was a man of the house, because my mum wasn't taking... Are you taking, only child? Uh, bro, I'm an only child. Like, bro, I've got, I've got step-siblings, bro. You know what I'm trying to say to you, bro? I've got step-siblings, I've got half-siblings, but in my mum's yard, I was the only child. You know what I'm trying to say to you? My, my little siblings, my little half-brother, my little half-sister came back later, but I've never lived with them, and do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? It's only been me and my mum, basically, you know? So, bro, for man, bro, it was like, I had to be the man of the house. When I say the man of the house, bro, my mum would never take money from me. Like, if I was 14, like, hey, I gave my mum five bills, my mum would my mom would die before she took five bills cash off, man, bro. So, talking on your father, like, do you have a relationship with him right now? I would say it's a bit better, still, like, me and my pops. And do you forgive him as well? Bro, you know what, let me not even come and diss up my father on, on the internet, innit? but long story short, bro, innit? Like, I got to the point where I had to man up for my own. I got my half little brother and sister, like I was talking about, mm -hmm. and some things was happening where I didn't even feel like, I feel like they were going to have the same experience I had. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I said to myself, I have to man up, because I'm at a point where I'm getting money, I'm doing my thing, bro, so I can actually change things. Like, my mum, I can help my mum. And now she accepts my help because you understand I'm more grown and you got to try to say to the little bit. Like, for example, my little brother, my little sister. So I realised, yo, man can actually be a source of guidance for these lot because man's, you get me, I've got a, a sturdy head on myself. Like, you got know to try to say to you, like, I, I can make sure my brother stays away from the fuckeries. If I see all of that shit coming out and the shit that I saw myself, you got know to try to say to show him, yo, my nigga, come put your dukes up if you think you're bad type of vibe. And my sister, all I can really tell her is just value yourself, make sure you respect yourself, keep your head up, you're worth, you're worth a million more, unlimited money, like, you get what I'm trying to say, never let a man be little, yes, the little things that I sort of... You never really got... You understand money. that I could try and instill, that I've learned, I've had to learn myself, I've tried and instill in these, so with my pops, man's relationship sort of, I speak to him a little bit here and there now because I speak to my little siblings and I want to see my little siblings, so it's like they live with my pops. So I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't like just be turning up to the yard and you know what I'm saying? Not so, decent, yeah. but me and my pops, we don't really speak, bro. Truth be told, like we speak here and there. Obviously, I've seen him when I go to the yard to see my little sibling. But we, you know what I'm saying? But it's gotten better, bro. Like, yeah, I'm trying to say to you, like, well, obviously when I was younger, there was some resentment, like bare anger, bare built up everything, bro. You know, you know how it goes, bare built up everything, bro. You got the resentment, the anger, the you're looking at your peoples and their pops feeling the type of way, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say to you? Then for man. I got over all that from a very early age. Like, I, I'm, I'm a very, I don't feel sorry for myself. I get on with things. Like, once I realise and accept this is what's going on, just keep it moving. What more can you do? You know what I'm trying to say to you? So, with man's pops, it's like, um, when I was younger, there was a lot of resentment, a lot of da 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 But as I got older, bro, like, <laughs> and you learn more about people's lives and what happened in his life when he was younger and all that. You know what I'm saying? Everything, like, you just learn, like, bro, people are adults, and as an adult, I feel like it's easier to see where things go wrong as well. Do you get what I'm saying? So, to say man forgave him, bro, I can't really forgive, like, that amount of whatever happened in man's childhood. Like, I would never, like, you get me? Like, I could say, like, man's, man's calm with him, like, do you get me? But, and I don't have no... But the relationship will ever be the way it Yeah, was, bro, because I'm, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm not young, bro, man's 22. Do you get what I'm trying to say to you? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm 22, bro, so... Flipping, like, it's a bit late now to, I'm a grown man, you're a grown man, like, what are we going to do, go to the park, like? <laughs> do you get what I'm trying to say to you, bro? Like, what, what, what can we really do at this point? But it's like, you get me, bro, on talking terms with good, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, man's on talking terms with him, like, we don't really speak, that's what I'm saying, I don't speak to him on a day-to-day -day basis or on a weekly basis, I probably speak to him once, you know, God knows how long, but I try to rap for my little siblings, my, um, even, bro, my, my stepmom for my, but we actually speak quite a lot, bro, like, me and my stepmom, we actually, have a decent relationship as well. But it's literally mainly my pops. I don't really speak in the yard, but it's not even a thing where it's like, I don't even think it's intentional from both sides, but I think maybe we're just both busy or whatever it be, my nigga, man. But no, my side, bro, man's just, man's older. Man's, man's got too much to be worrying about them. 
past life traumas and childhood nightmares. So let's get into this. Why do you think there's a lot of rappers that are going back to jail? For example, like Nines is a, is a good example of that. Bro, you know what it is? I feel like everyone's got points to prove, bro. Like, if you want me to be so frank with you, bro, I feel like with a lot of people that blow up here, they they lose that sense of, like, bro, like, everyone knew who they were back in the day. Now everyone thinks, especially the new the new fans. You see, bro, there's a lot of drill artists from who've been rapping 016, 017, 018, 015. Like, even when you was listening to drill when it first started, UK drill when it first started. So, them times there, bro, like, 80% of people that are rapping were actually outside, were actually rapping and doing things that were rapping about. Do you get what I'm trying to say to you? Mm. So it's like, no one really questioned the authenticity of drill back then. Do you understand? But you see in this generation here, bro, the authenticity of drill is very challenged. You see a youth rapping drill and you think, where is this youth? What has he done? Where has he been? He looks like he's got no money. He's rapping about WAPs, talking crazy, but he looks like he's got no money. He's in brass man's clothing from head to toe, but I'm not judging that, bro. I'm not even, a, it's not even a judgment thing, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, bro, rock what you want to rock. Like, do you get me, bro? We all grew up rocking the same things, bro. Don't get it twisted. I might fling on a Montclair tomorrow. Tomorrow I might be in a night jacket. I might fling on a tech piece today. I might be in a central. I might be in Louis today. Like, bro, you understand? There's no, there's no specific clothing that you should wear, bro. But my point is, if you're going to really be rapping about brizzies and stuff, Stuff that's 5k, 10k, 20k, bro. You can't be looking like you don't have a build to your name. That's what my principle is, man. So, just so be real with yourself. So you know what I'm trying to say? That you think like a lot of these rappers are trying to prove themselves. Yeah, it's a, it's a proven like, thing. Just show who they are again. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a lot of this. It's a proven thing, isn't it? You know what I'm trying to say? For example, like Lowski, like because obviously I remember there was a point where a lot of niggas on Reddit and shit were saying, "Oh, Lowski don't ride. He makes." It's weird. To, it's weird to me. It's weird to me because I don't think. But that's I don't what I'm know saying, why it bro. matters. But. but Obviously, and then he caught his gun case, and not everyone's saying it's real. But you know what it is? I don't think it was anyone that was really listening to those back in the day that saying those. You know, it's all these new plates. It's all these just you youths that listen to drill and the new wave and da 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 da. They're the ones saying, "What's Lowski done? Where's Lowski been?" <laughs> like you understand? Know they're the type of people that's asking those questions, bro. But bro, if you, like bro, like you can't gauge a man through the internet, regardless, bro. Do you understand? Like bro, I could come on the camera telling you the madness, so. Whatever, bro, but that doesn't gauge the fact that I'm a bad boy, bro. Like, you're going to have to come and see me and gauge it yourself and no man's energy, see my energy, see how I move, like, around... You know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say to you, bro? That's how you told what a person's on, bro. You can't look at a nigga through the internet just because he's rapping bare badness on your TikTok or your For You page and think this is actually about that, bro. You know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say to you? And that's the problem, the, blur, the lines are blurred. Do you understand? There's a lot of blurred lines now, and it's like... You understand what I'm saying, bro? It's just one of them ones there where it's a, it's a, it's a generation of so much unauthentic people. But to be part of that group that is authentic, like people say, this is authentic drill rapper, he does what he raps, so da 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 da. You now have to literally prove yourself. But because at the same time, I do feel that I, I, per I slightly feel like a lot of fans don't even care about if you're on the streets anymore. As well. Nah, literally, bro. Literally, bro, they don't. They don't. Bro, you can literally just set up your phone. Write, write some crazy bars in your yard. Put a value on. Put a value on, bro. Not even they don't even put values on nowadays, bro. They just put filters. You know the, mm -hmm. you know the filters, the blurred filters, mm -hmm. and they just rap nowadays and just rap bare crud and hit a thousand likes on TikTok and they're drill rapping now, bro. That's just how it's mm -hmm. going, bro. But I never grew up on that, bro. That's why I don't really listen to a lot of drill. I don't listen to a lot of UK music, bro. Man, listen to people that I probably been listening to from time, bro. I listen to a lot of people like Trap, K Trap, like Do Road. Man, listen to. Like, there's, there's artists in the UK, Digger, there's better artists in the UK that I listen to that, but a lot of them are solidified artists that have been, like, a lot of these new play artists, bro. Like, I don't really listen to them, truth be told. It's not really a bit of me, my boy. Like, what do you think about um, UMG pulling all the music out of TikTok? Uh, I think it's a, it's a good thing and a bad thing, my boy. Bro, I think it's a good thing and a bad thing because, cool, the way I look at life here yeah, is, um... Everything's an opportunity and everything. You can look at things at like pros and cons on every topic. So, for example, UMG pulling off their stuff off of TikTok, yeah? If you're an artist that's for UMG, obviously that's a bummer for you because that's where a lot of them are raking in the most of their money. But for artists that's an independent artist, duh, 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 you can look at it like, raw, I need to push my music now. All of my sounds need to be out. But then you can also look at it like, yo, if UMG don't pull through and then the other brands decide not to pull through or whatever on the next contracts, duh, 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 and they decide to take a stand, and UMG's the first one to take the stand, and the rest follow. That could be the downfall of TikTok. And now we can, we'll be having to look at different apps like um, 
like YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's just really you just gotta see how it goes, bro. Because this is the beginning. Obviously, everything's catalytic. Everything pops off. Do you get what I'm trying to say to you? How it goes. So the reaction to UMG, we're just gonna have to see how it goes, bro. Because mm -hmm. it could make other artists pop off, or we could see TikTok fall off very quickly. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? It could be a start of I have a thing, so for me personally, bro, I've started also shifting my stuff to other platforms. So I've started posting on YouTube Shorts. Obviously, my Instagram, I'm not trying to flood that, so I'm not really going to do too much Instagram Reels, but mm. I start posting YouTube Shorts. I'm trying to get on everything now, just in case, but at the same time, I'm also pushing my TikTok harder because yeah, facts, facts. it could be the other side where it's the benefit for, you know what I'm saying? Now, what do you, um, so how, how does it feel with like, your TikTok? Like, I'll be seeing like, on TikTok that you're generating a bit of a buzz right now, so... Like, it, like, it's getting there, isn't it? Um, I feel like you can create cool. a big buzz with it. Cool, bro. You know what? TikTok was a mistake, bro. Um, TikTok was a mistake, bro. Um, <laughs> when I say it was a mistake, bro, it was never meant to happen the way it happened. I didn't plan for my TikTok to actually start doing decent well, my bro. So, cool. I was first on this TikToks where TikToks this, TikTok. I'm not using You're one of them, man. Yeah, bro, I was one of them, man, bro. My ex, bro, my ex used to be on TikTok the whole day, fam. I'm just saying, bro, like, why are you always just on the app just scrolling through what's going on? And she said to me, download it, download it. I've got so much shit to send you, funny shit. And I was just like, later on. Now, one day, man, just downloaded it, fam. And then, but for time, I didn't really post on there. I just had it. And then I sort of learned, I grasped it, like, my For You page, everything. Like, I grasped the concept of TikTok before, before I start posting on it. Then I understood TikTok, I understood what's going on. Then I started experimenting, putting one, two things out there. And that one was really banging, but bro, for me to be so real, for a good time, like six months, my TikTok wasn't really popping. I was posting videos once a week, once every couple of weeks here and there. Just, I, was, I was feeling froggy, just mm -hmm. leave it there. And then, boom, I think what's happened now is I've shot two music videos in a day and I started posting the content. And slowly, like, but surely, man was just getting. 50, 60, 100 likes at a time. So I started to like that content. But I was promoting a song called Liar, which isn't even out yet now. I was promoting a song called Liar. Then at that period while Liar was waiting to come out, when I was doing the whole process of GRM to get the song out, I went and recorded a song called Trap Talk in the studio. And I posted it on my TikTok when I was promoting Liar. And bro, my TikTok just started popping off. I posted the first TikTok, I got like 10K. I'm thinking, what? From 1K to 10K? So I'm thinking, nah, surely must be a hit or miss. But every sound, sure enough, every sound I'm posting, every video I'm taking, 10K, 20K, 50K, 40K, TikTok is banging, 1,000 likes, 2,000 likes. I'm thinking, what? Like, you get what I'm saying? This is crazy. So my man's following went up, like, basically, like, two weeks, bro. I went from, like, 200 followers to, like, 1,000 followers in like, mm. in, like, two weeks, bro. Do you get me? And then I dropped Trap Talk my best song out because obviously the TikTok pushed it very well do you get what I'm saying so my best song out there yet yeah, like it's not got the most views but in a short amount of time the traction that's gained the amount of streams that's gained the amount of international presence has been like the UK hot AE just bare little things bro it's mad it's, you get me it's got good traction and it got me a lot of attention because for me it's not all about numbers it's also about what, Explosion, what heads you're turning do you get what I'm trying to say to you who knows your name who knows what you're doing do you get what I'm trying to say attention is the new currency bro do you get what I'm saying so now man's done that and then from there man just sort of been posting on TikTok consistently since then but I built up a little fan base from that trap talk so obviously my, my following went from a thousand else on that two thousand something bro man's route to 10k type of type vibe bro it's, it's volatile right now it's going up going up going up even now bro I recorded uh, a video shoot not too long ago, Matt, last week, this, mm -hmm. this Bang Off song. That's another song, another sound of mine that's on TikTok. Ain't that, ain't that wax song, man? Wax yeah, song that wax. Birth, yeah, yeah like, that, that thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that thing, my boy, live. Mm -hmm. That thing there, that's the one that, um, that's the one that now I'm looking to promote more because it's gone that's viral. It's just gone as viral. Literally, as Trap Talk, like, man's posting TikToks, so I was posting stuff on the day, and it's gone just as viral. What's your goals? What's your goals with this? Music. Bro, my goal with the music thing, bro, is just you want you know what it is, bro, is to create a brand, bro. Like we see blow and everyone can say I wanna blow, I wanna get rich, but like there's more to it than that, bro. My thing is just to become a brand, bro. Like I wanna be able to do that like, I want my music to pick up so much traction that I can do other things with it. Mm -mm. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? I wanna be able to sit there and say, yo, man started my music, I started some merch, I started 
some da 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 da. Like a couple things, you understand? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to say to you, and, and a big thing for man as well is also being able to do stuff for my people as well. Because it's like a door. Once that door's open, bro, like once you're that person in, your, in the end that can open that door and let people come through, bro, everyone's popping now. Hey, right. question. Uh. Do you feel like if, if someone blows, they need to put all their niggas on? Bro, I want to say everyone, bro. Do you understand? It's not a necessity, but you know what it is, bro? The people that you know got you and the people that you know, you understand what I'm trying to say to you? Your people, bro, because regardless of it, bro, you can't put everyone from an area on, bro. That's that's not mm-hmm. physically possible. You'll go broke trying to do that, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? But there's 100% fundamental people that you know, listen, this is a fundamental person for man's life. This is a person that, like, they've got, man. I need to have this person, like, because it's just more than... Like, if I call you my nigga, bro, it's more than just haha, hee hee, spud. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Man, man's has, I got you, bro. Do you understand? Like, bro, if you go somewhere, something happens, bro. If you need me to do this, help your mum, man got you, bro. So it's like, for man, it's like, if I open that door, I can help more than just my friends, my friends' parents, etc. Because, bro, helping my friends, it's going to better their home lives. Do you understand? So, bro, for man, it's more than, do you get me? Even, bro, whatever the man don't want to do that, in terms of when you're that door, bro, if the man don't want to get into videography, open their own studio, mm-hmm. you got all the links. You, everyone wants to do you the favour. You're the star, so it's like, you make that phone call, yo, my nigga wants to start a little da 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 I know you got him. That started for him because they want 25 to owe them the favour. Do you get what I'm trying to say to you, bro, the, the person that's that's um helping you out? Do you get what I'm trying to say to the person that's giving you the opportunity? They want you to, because one day they're going to say, oh, bro, remember when I helped you out, da 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 Money, da, da, da. you know what I'm saying? It's just obviously it's currency exchange, bro. Like one day everyone, you know what I'm saying, bro? So for man, it's like, I would rather whatever the man I want to do, whatever my people want to do, I just want to be able to help them. And furthermore, I want to be able to help myself. I want to be able to help my family. I want to be able to put myself in a position where I can do more than just music as well. I can get into other things because man's name and man's brand is so strong. You know what I'm saying? One, one guy I've recently used, like, not even I've knew, known about him for a time. He's American. You know about FYBJ man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah like my man's he's now like he's all started from the music thing, dissing niggas. Now he's kind of popped off it, made the serial, pushing piece. He's doing all of that. He's um he's doing the comedian thing now. Mm. Couple of podcasts and interviews as well. Mm. So uh, what do you think about that? Um, and do you feel like a nigga could do that in the UK as well? Like a rapper who starts off like dissing and being from these ends and then he just switches it up. I don't know if we're ready for that, bro. Like, America had to get ready for that. That wasn't a thing that five years ago you could do, three years ago you could do. This is a thing that this generation is doing. Gangsters are turning to bloggers. People are talking about what really happened in their life. Niggas are describing shootouts and niggas are describing vividly what happened on camera. You get what I'm saying? This is the first generation that's like that, bro. So I feel like maybe when the UK is ready for that, maybe when they've had a bit more exposure to what's really going on outside. Because right now, bro, the UK is just opening its eyes to how much is really going on. Like, uh, the knife crimes getting bad, the drum music, like, everything. It's just like they just opened their eyes. So they don't really even really know. I don't even think they really know, what, like, 80% of what's really going on out here. But whereas in America, my guy, I feel like because so much shit's been going on for so long, I feel like they're very exposed to it in their communities. So it's like, for a nigga to pop out on a camera talking about I shot eight niggas in Chicago, that's, that's the, the like, you know what I'm saying? Everyone's exposed to it. Everyone's been exposed to it. Everyone really knows what's going on, bro. But if I'm from, if I'm from here, bro, if I'm from, for example, the ends, bro, like, around the ends, bro, we've got Camden, we've got nice places. You think those people in Camden and the, 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 it's like, you got to get a seat behind you, bro. You see, in Chicago, you can pop out with your vlog and because it's so big, you can get a whole city behind your vlog. There's a whole hood section of the city that will get behind your vlog. In London, London's a very small place, my bro. So it's like, for people to relate to a vlog, and do you understand? It's a very small niche market of relatable consumers. You get what I'm trying to say? So I feel like we just need to get ready for it, bro. I feel like that could happen, but it will have to go be in a couple more years. I like, but I don't know, bro. I'm me personally. I'll never partake in that, bro. I can't lie. You like, see, so so you you can't imagine yourself maybe in five to ten years' time being like, yeah, remember that time. Nah, bro. But into and then that nigga shot. That for example, FYBJ man was talking about how it tastes savage. Yeah, 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 bro. I you can't do I mean? that, bro. Me personally, bro, I can't do that, bro, because I grew up a certain way, and I, bro, I can't lie. If man, watch the documentary, for example, on, on the flip side of a nigga saying my man did this to me, I would be so vexed. Bro. I'll be saying, can you not take that down, bro? <laughs> like, you got what I'm trying to say, bro? Like, you're out here telling people about what I was doing. You got what I'm saying? So. 
me personally, bro, I'm not really a reporter, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I'm more of an eyes, open mouth, shut type of guy. I always have my energy. You, you get what I'm trying to say? But this is more me talking about myself and just man's life, innit? But talking about what's really going down and what's... You, know, you understand what I'm trying to say to you, bro? I don't really partake in all of that, bro. Car. Regardless of yourself, bro, you're still going to have to mention other people, bro. Like, you understand what I'm trying to say to you? You can't have street stories by yourself where you just got there and just did badness and no one... You're going to have to mention someone got hurt, someone... Someone ran from you, you ran from someone, someone backed out this on you, you backed out this on someone. All these names, bro, mm-hmm. that aren't in the room with you, that haven't consented to you talking about what they was doing. But at the same time, you could also argue that, like, more time it's not really nothing mad if you're not pressing charges or nothing. Or you're not going to... No, like... I hear it, bro, but that's just me personally, no, bro. I hear what you're saying. You understand what I'm trying to say to you, bro? Me personally, bro, I, I don't really rate it, bro. Like, I don't really rate this, this coming out on camera and talk about how much of a bad boy you've been in your life. Because same way, because obviously I hear it, but then the same way I thought that like a lot of people say it's better for the niggas who are doing it yeah. to monetize off it than a random vlogger who's not from the ends. Yeah, bro, but I feel like regardless, bro, obviously people are going to monetize regardless and make money off it, bro, but it's like, you see what it is, bro. When you see a random mute doing it, it's just like, oh, yeah, like, you've got a little bit of obsession with these. Like, that's what I think. When I see, like, for example, my, like, he used to make documentaries on, on the mandem and the ends. Da, 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 da. Like, these are got an obsession with the mandem. Like, these are a bit obsessed. Like, this is a bit weird, fam. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, that's the way I look at it. So I take it with a pinch of salt. When I see these people just doing their little documentaries on it and, da, 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 and they're not involved, I just take it with a pinch of salt. I just say, this might be a fanboy. He, this, he probably grew up listening to the music. He's always been interested in them. So this is the best way he can reflect that. He's interested in them. But I feel like with the, you, now with the youth, that's actually been about it, bro. It's like, my nigga... Like, I don't know, man. I just can't condone it, bro. Like, FYB, Jamie and that, they're funny, though, man. You get me? He, he mixes some bands in that way, but I guess, bro. But I don't know, man. It's not really a portion of me, bro. And it's not really a portion of what I think people... Like, I wouldn't really want no one around, man, that's on that. Or this, you know, that, 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 that report of that, bro. I'm more of, you know, around, man, this eyes open, mouth shut type of vibe. You get what I'm trying to say to you? Just absorb what's going on, but you don't really need to speak unless you need to, you know what I'm saying? No, definitely, definitely, definitely. But broski, I appreciate you, man. Trust me, bro. Like, you got to tap in again, man. Like, no. I, I, I can see you going far, man. I can't lie. This interview is me just investing, bro. Come on, my bro. Man, I appreciate it, my brother, man. Bro, bro you man seen your platform, my bro. Don't, don't, don't take away from your hard work, my bro. I seen you building up your platform. You got a steady platform, bro. Your thing comes off my full you page. I see all your videos, man. So, mm-hmm. get me. You just got to oh, love, stick bro, with it. Same way, my bro. See, man. Catch up at the finish line. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Catch up at the finish line, my boy, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, my bro, see, man, man, really appreciate it, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just a, just a guy trying to do things, get things done, my bro, man. You know what I'm saying? Trying to change predicament, get out of the mud type of vibe. So, you know what I'm saying? Give give the people that care about man or care about what my life's been or care about what's going on in my life a little in, insight into me. And if you come here for me to talk about what's going on on the roads and uh, like, bro don't come to my interviews again if you want to hear some real stuff mm-hmm. i got some you get me i've learned i've been outside so i got some gems for you though bro. you get me that's not a vibe man right now we're promoting running up money we're promoting village businesses we're promoting people finishing the school we're promoting oh, getting out the mud the right way the wrong way whatever you gotta do just get it out of the mud man but yeah man, bro man that's it.